everybody, if you're considering making a move to Santan Valley, you are not going to want to miss this. Today, I'm going to give you an inside look at a brand new neighborhood taking shape here that's got, honestly, some of the nicest homes you're going to find in the area. No real flashy amenities here, just good, solid quality living in a great location. Welcome to Edgewood, a community being developed by Cahognanian Homes. This is a single family uh, neighborhood with all single story homes that range in size from uh, 1970 all the way up to 2,883 square feet across two different series. So there really is a home here for everyone. Located on Pima Road, about a quarter mile east of Ironwood, Edgewood is just barely outside the town of Queen Creek right into Santan Valley. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy living close to Queen Creek and still taking opportunity of all the various uh, entertainment and other things going on in Queen Creek. So between the two collections of homes, there are actually seven different floor plans that you can choose from. And while it's possible that you can build from the ground up, most of their home sites are uh, spec homes or inventory homes. This is a home where construction has already started and all of the uh, designer interior packages have already been predetermined by the builder. Now they've got three different packages. That would be the loft, the farmhouse, and the classic. And as of this filming today, they actually have 24 inventory homes that are at some various stage of construction along in the process that are available. So in this video, we're going to focus on the Villa series. There's four floor plans in this series, and they range in size from 1,970 square feet to almost 2,600 square feet. And they start out with a base price of $529,900. So two of those four floor plans are actually modeled here. That's the Pasadena and the Warren. And we're going to go inside and take a tour of both of them. So Let's start out with the Pasadena first. This is a 2,144 square foot home. It has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a home office, and a two car garage. Now the Pasadena has a base price of $546,000. The front door opens into a long entryway that leads you back to the main living area of the home. But first, right off to your left, we find two bedrooms and a bathroom. Now this front bedroom, which they call bedroom three, it's really pretty big at just over 12 feet by 15 feet, and it sits right up front with a great view to the outside. Bedroom four is also in this area, and at 10 feet by 10 feet, it's a little bit more traditional in its size. And then right between the two bedrooms is a hall bathroom that comes with a walk-in shower. Now take a look at the doors and the ceilings here. These eight foot doors and 10 foot ceilings, they actually come standard throughout the entire home. Then over here on the right side, there's a short hallway that leads you to the laundry room, another bedroom and a full bathroom. And as we move a little deeper into the home, back over here on the left side, this is where the home office is. Now you do have the option where this can actually be a fifth bedroom, but here in the model, they left it as an office. And then we move to the main living area. That 12 foot sliding glass door, that's an option. It replaces an eight foot sliding door and two windows. The vaulted ceilings in this room, that comes standard, but the, the decoration wood beams, they're just decoration. Now this is the standard kitchen layout. It comes with a GE stainless appliance package, which includes an electric range and oven, a microwave and dishwasher, and all of that comes standard, as does the subway tile backsplash, and these 42 inch cabinets with soft closed doors and drawers. And then we'll move to the master bedroom, which is separated from the other bedrooms back here in the corner of the home. I kind of like the size of the windows in here, plenty of natural sunlight. And this is the standard master bathroom. It comes with a standalone shower and dual vanities, but you do have the option to add a freestanding tub in here as well. 
Now remember I told you earlier that each home has one of three different interior design packages. Well that package, it covers every element of the home and this particular model features the uh, farmhouse package. Alrighty, so that was the Pasadena. Now let's take a look at the Warren. At 2,568 square feet, this is the largest home in this series. It has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a media room, a formal dining room, and a two-car garage. Now just like the Pasadena, as you enter the front doorway, there's this long entryway that leads you back to the main living area. Although this one seems to be a little bit longer than the Pasadena. And again, off to our left, we find two bedrooms. Both bedrooms are fairly good sized at 10 by 12 feet. And they're separated by a full bathroom. And I just wanted to point out once more, the standard eight foot doors and 10 foot ceilings that again, throughout the entire home. Now over here on the right side, this is what they call the media room. And I suppose that there's a lot of different ways that you could use this space. I would probably make it my home office. Just beyond the media room is another bedroom and a bathroom. And at 12 feet by 12 feet, this would actually make a pretty good guest room. Now jumping back over to the left side, Here's where the formal dining room is, and it actually has a pass-through butler's pantry. Now you do have the option, if you don't want the formal dining room, to actually make this into your fifth bedroom. We'll take a quick peek in the laundry room, and then we're gonna move into the main living area. Now where these three windows are, you do have an option to make that 12-foot sliding glass door like we saw in the Pasadena. Now this is the standard kitchen layout. Again, GE stainless appliances, including the electric range and oven, the microwave and dishwasher, all of this comes standard. And again, so does the backsplash and the 42 inch cabinets with the soft closed doors and drawers. But because this is the classic package, the stacked cabinets up there on top with the glass doors, those also come standard. And like the Pasadena, this is a split floor plan. So again, the master bedroom is back here in the corner. And this is the standard master bathroom for this package, except they went ahead and added the optional freestanding tub. All right, so that was the Warren. You know what, let me know in the comments below Kind of what you thought of these two floor plans. Maybe you liked one over the other. And remember, there's two additional floor plans in this series that we haven't seen yet. All right, now before we move on, if you're finding value in this video, give it a like or a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this where I show you new home communities and I take you on model home tours, consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on that little bell so you'll be notified every time a new video gets uploaded. Now let's talk a little bit more about this community in general. For starters, not gonna lie, it's hot out here. It's 110 degrees or so, so Arizona summers are brutal. But as long as you're not standing outside shooting a video and you're inside where there's air conditioning, you're probably gonna be fine, but I digress. There are 173 home sites here, and this is more of a traditional style neighborhood as they don't really have a community pool or rec center or some of the other amenities that the big master plan communities have. But they do offer this large central lawn area with a tot lot, and there's this ramada with a barbecue, and the HOA fees are only $100 a month. Now there is a $15,000 earnest deposit that's due at contract signing, unless you're an investor and, or buying a second home, and then it's a $30,000 deposit. And if you're a cash buyer, well, they require a $20,000 deposit. And of course, all of that goes towards your down payment. Now, if you'd like to see any of these model homes, reach out to me, I'd love to show them to you. And whether you're working with me or another agent, and you really should have an agent representing you, your agent has to accompany you on your very first visit to the community. Otherwise, there's a really good chance the builder's not gonna compensate your agent and you'll be on your own if you decide to make a purchase. And that's not specific just to this community, that's all builders in general. 
Now, if you are considering making a move to Queen Creek, whether you're coming from just across town or clear across the country, we are your East Valley Relocation Specialists and we would absolutely love to help you. We can help you with new build homes such as these. We can help you with resale homes. We can even help you sell your current home. Now, we do offer free consultations. I'll put my um, contact information at the end of this video. There's also a link in the description. Click on that link and you can schedule your own uh, private Zoom call with me. If you'd rather text or email, that's fine. The point is, let's just get together and talk. Now, this video here is one you wanna watch if you wanna see information on another nearby community. And this one down here, this is a must watch because this is the one that's gonna ease your mind and calm your nerves while you go throughout the new build process.